Hallelujah. Father, we honor you. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. We humble ourselves before you. We acknowledge you are God all by yourself. And beside you, there is no other. As we come before you today, we intercede for each other and pray for one another. We're praying for your perfect will to prevail in every person's life. Work a miracle. Give a breakthroughs. Give deliverance and answers and solutions to their dilemmas and their challenges, God. We know that there's no problem that is greater than your capacity to fix and solve. And so we cry out to you, Father, in the precious and the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we pray for each other and intercede for each other, but not only the people in this building, but God. We pray for our brothers and sisters around the world and around the nation who join us, Lord, who join us on the internet or some other means. We pray today, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would in a most profound and powerful way step into the domain of their circumstance and work a miracle in their life. Father, I pray for you to save somebody today that needs salvation. We bring deliverance to them, bring, bring salvation. Cause them to come and get right with you. I pray for backsliders, Father, those who've drifted away and need to be restored. Draw them to you, Father. We pray for those who are unsure, those, God, who have doubts. We're praying that you would give them assurance. We pray for the unchurched, the uncommitted, that, God, you would draw them if this is the place you've called them to be. And then, Father, we pray for the believers that are already settled and planted. Edify them, strengthen them, put a hedge around them, bind every scheme and attack, rebuke, and counsel out every plan of the enemy. And Father, you be glorified and you get the glory and you get the praise in Jesus' name. Now, thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you for what you've already done. And we thank you that you've already opened up the windows of heaven and you're pouring out blessings that there's not room enough to receive. Bring healing and victory to families and marriages and finances and jobs and careers and, and mindsets and hearts. And Father, let your will be done and we already give you the glory and we already give you the credit and we already give you the praise in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen.
serve a God that makes walls to fall. He'll make a way. He does miracles. He'll stop the rain from showering on your part. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. Give him one more praise if you don't mind with me. Worship him one more time. In here only because you may you move mountains You cause walls With your power Perform miracles There is That's impossible And we're standing Only because You move Don't know how, but you 
favorite song right there. Hallelujah. You can be seated if you're able. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wonderful God. My God. Wonderful Jesus. And I'm standing here only because you may Away. Hallelujah. My Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make a way. He'll make a way. He has made a way. <laughs> Hallelujah. She's trying to discern right now. Somebody today needs Jesus in their life. The presence of God, the glory of God is here. The glory of God is here. I want you to recognize this atmosphere. And the best thing you can do in this kind of atmosphere is not watch, but participate. I feel 
feel miracle working things happening in here right now. I feel miracles. Somebody needs a miracle. I feel a miracle, a miracle, a miracle. Reach up and grab your miracle from God. Your miracle from God. Hallelujah. It's a miracle day. A miracle day. Hallelujah. I feel God healing people right now all over the building. I feel, I feel people getting healed, healed. I feel healing. I feel healing. I feel healing. Reach up and grab it. Receive it. Embrace it. It's a great place right here, right now. The presence of God. The glory of God, the glory of God. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name. Wonderful God, wonderful God. Mm. If you need Jesus in your life, you've not accepted the death of Jesus on the cross for your sins, his burial and his resurrection, you've never committed your life to him, it would be a shame for you to go on and live your life without the presence of God. You can get his presence right now. You can get forgiven of your sins right now. The eternal God can come and live in you and empower you to live a life you haven't been able to live. But what it requires is you to put your faith in what he did for you on the cross. And what it requires is for you to humble yourself and acknowledge you need him. Amen. And the best thing you do is get out of your seat and come on down here right now and say, you know what, I want to get right with you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Backslidden. Come on, rededicate yourself. You drifted away from God. You're not as close to God as you used to be. He's waiting. He's waiting with his arms stretched out wide. He wants you to come right now, right now. Get out of your seat and make your way. You're not sure. You need assurance. Come on, right now. You need assurance. Come. You already saved, but you need a church. This is a great church. Come right now. Come right now. The Holy Spirit is talking to you to come right now right now not five minutes from now not next week now now
here and I was standing here only because, only because you you moved Cause walls to fall with your, with your power perform miracles. There is, there is nothing that's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing here, we're standing here only, be, only because you, you move mountains. You cause walls with your power. For miracles, there, there is nothing that's impossible, and we're standing, and we're standing here only because you made it away. Did I hug you already? Hi, what's your name? Hmm? Yeah. How old are you? Why you come down here? I don't know how, but you did it. Sometimes I miss my bed, but I can't stop. I don't know how, but you did it. You made it. Don't know how. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me explain something to y'all because some, some people don't understand what's happening. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. This is a, this is a church where we let the Holy Spirit run the, run the show. Somebody go ahead, give the Lord a shout about that, y'all. Hallelujah, hallelujah, they're still coming, hallelujah, they're still coming, hallelujah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you move mountains, you cause walls with your power, thank you Lord, all right, what we do here, this is, this is the place where God abides. He dwells here, and we're excited about that. So God has spoken to you all, I'm so proud of you, and you responded. You heard God. You heard God. You, you heard God. You heard God. How old are you? 30? How tall are you? 6'5". Six 6'5", five. Six five? basketball, football? No. no? Hey man, how you doing buddy? How old are you? 25. 25, I'm proud of you. Get out there with him. Praise the Lord, proud of you. The person behind you is a counselor. They're going to take you in the back. Talk to you. Find out where you are spiritually. They're going to share scriptures with you. Pray. Some of you coming to get saved. You're going to get saved today. I, I know that's, getting saved is church terminology. That means you're going to accept Jesus in your life and he's going to forgive you of your sins and you're going to get eternal life today. Eternal life. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you are going to rededicate yourself. You accepted the Lord, but you're backslid, but now you're going to rededicate yourself to him. 
and you're going to get restored. Some of you are going to get assurance. You have doubts and questions. We're going to get all those doubts and questions settled. Some of you are already say, but you need a church. You have come to the right place. Somebody say that. You come to the right place. You came to the right place. This is a good church. You can get connected with us. The council is going to tell you everything you need to do, all right? Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for every single person, every child, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. I pray now that you part your spirit upon them in a supernatural way. Cleanse them of their sins. Fill them with the power of your presence. Give them the heart to repent and believe in Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. Make yourself real for them, to them, Lord. Let it stick. Let them be grounded and rooted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Wow. Man. It is what it is. It is what it is. You never know what's going to happen at the First Baptist Church of Bernard. Amen. I love when the Spirit of God does His work. Here's what the Bible reads. I'm going to say this one last thing, then I'm going to be finished. When you get on one accord, this is what happened in the Bible. When everybody got on one accord, God did his work without the preacher even having to preach. God did his work today. I love y'all. Goodbye. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Have a great day. God bless you.